Welcome to Wise Beyond Bitcoin, where you come with the Crypto Neo news, education, and opportunities. My name is Lucas, and I'm going to follow up on our validator staking and value added, major value added to the playlist today. And excited to share about this validator and what they're doing and how you can support them with a live tutorial example, how we do it to show you live action, how these networks work. And the network that we really love to keep you up to date, the secret update, secret network connected to the IBC after supernova of September 2021. That's right. They're connected to the inner blockchain communication ecosystem with Cosmos, Atom, Osmosis, Juno, Crypto.com, Crypto.org, uh, Luna, Terra. You know, we can keep going, but we're not. We're going to go and talk about these other playlists. If you're brand new to all of this, we've got how to start your secret crypto journey. That's like the basics, how to, how to download a Kepler wallet, secure your password, your seed phrase, all that stuff, send, receive, staking. We talk about secret NFTs, a lot about secret NFTs because NFTs are the news a lot. You may have heard about NFTs, non-fungible tokens. You may have started to understand, learn what differentiates them from their fungible counterparts, blockchain, like uh, blockchain, Bitcoin, Monero, Litecoin, Ethereum. And you're saying, well, what, what's the difference? Well, Secret Network has a difference for their NFTs to the normal NFTs. If there's such thing as normal NFTs, I guess there is now. Secret NFTs have privacy because Secret Network has a privacy layer one built in. So what you can do with NFTs on the Secret Network, you cannot mimic or copy on other networks, which is why Quentin Tarantino launched his hidden, unreleased Pulp Fiction screenplay scenes with some, who knows, who knows, because it's, uh, um, the other, it's on a privacy blockchain. You can't look it up like you can on other chains. And there's more than Secret NFTs. We've got airdrops, opportunities, DeFi, explainers, tutorials, and other crypto secrets revealed because there's more being developed. And we're going to talk about some of those developments right now. I guess this video will be validators, tutorial, and crypto secrets because the validator we're going to talk about is Trivium Node. All links will be below because this is not marital, financial, commercial, legal, medical advice. This is just educational entertainment information, sharing research as we see it, as we understand it. Do we understand all of it? No. So do your own research to be your own bank, make your own mistakes. We learn from our errors. And in this space, this new emerging technology that's growing so fast, you're going to make some mistakes. It's okay. Take your time. Take your time. You're early. You're not late. Don't feel like you missed anything. These projects are just starting to get legs. It's just emerging. One of them, Trivium, is a validator node. A validator node secures the network of secret network. And they are more than just securing the network. They are actually building applications to add immense value. We're going to look at them in detail. Purveyors of privacy, preservers of freedom. Absolutely, because many people aren't really aware of how public ledgers and decentralized ledgers work. However, there are developers and those who are, are keenly aware of how this security, these decentralized networks operate. And because of that, they see flaws, major flaws in the future of blockchain as a, well, for many use cases, if you do not have privacy. So first two dApps of Black Box, which they have created, have finally been brought to mainnet. Cloak and Dead Drop at blackbox.cash. Only possible on Secret Network. Give them a try and bring us questions, feedback, or commentary that can help us improve our UX. Cloak will enable you to send secret gas to seed an anonymous wallet while preserving your privacy. The pool holds your, your transaction until it reaches a random number of entries, at which point all funds are released to their destination addresses. So this is a common um, application design in, in blockchain. And the more people over time that use this, the faster, the, the less time the pool holds the transactions. It's able to keep that the randomization feature going and 
Yes. So the more the merry. And that's why this information helps to so spread it, spread uh, practice, try it out and spread the knowledge. Sharing is caring. Dead drop beyond cloak. So that's cool. Right now, before I move on, if you send the way blockchain letters work, if you send from your address to another, it's on the chain. So this is a way that you can send to a new address and it's cloaked so that you can start a new wallet and someone that you bought a pack of gum from can't say, hey, what else, what else do you have? And that's the idea is allowing privacy is to really allow for uh, ethics and harmony to flourish in this technology to, to be practical because uh, Ryan and I, we're, we're actually gonna go our, and do a monetary, we love talking about money and monetary history. And we're gonna talk about features of monetary history and why secret network or a layer one type privacy blockchain is necessary for a practical long-term application. Although the last decade plus have been very exciting and showing a lot of the use cases, we're still early, as an example. So Cloak is huge. Dead Drop allows you to send and receive tokens without doxing your address. So you can make a payment, you can send something, and you can tell someone, oh yeah, you can send it to me, you can receive something from a wallet without doxing, without showing that address what it is. So that, very cool, very cool. These are beautiful features to exist and they are really, you know, you can see that these are actually, this is so valuable to all of Secret Network and all of blockchain, all of crypto. You can foresee that in time, these applications will be just, they'll be built in. They'll be built into how people use blockchain and sending and receiving in the future. They won't have to come and do this. It'll, it'll be automated because it's so necessary, really. You wouldn't choose to do it otherwise. And there was just an AMA. All links will be below. So make sure you follow them on Twitter. You check out their website, which we're going to show you right here, because privacy matters. Stake. Now, look, if you click stake and say you have to download a wallet, look, we have a playlist. We already showed you how to download a wallet. If you don't know, check it out. But we are going to stake and show you how to do that. Because how can you support them is important. When you have people that are working really hard, developers, to build applications that any it's open for anyone anyone can use this is to add value there's no gatekeeping there's no sign up for us we'll let you use it it's gonna cost this much you can use it right now it's free they they built this so that anyone can use this and, oh and by the way i, I just fast forwarded from their website to blackbox.cash by the way little um, alfalfa because we like to share the alfalfa to feed that knowledge that question mark may or may not have something to do with being able to send assets to EVM, Ethereum chain, without having to dox or maintaining privacy. So can you imagine how huge that is? Now, I may have gotten some of that a little off. I think it's, I was in the AMA, I was, you can listen to the recording, it's in there somewhere. But something to that effect may or may not in that range. Look, it's a big deal. Whatever it is, those three question marks are a big deal. That's the point. Another alfalfa, I'll share in a minute if I remember. So this is the website, Cloak. You click on Cloak, check it out. Boom, boom, boom. Seed another wallet with secret gas without a trace. Escape doxing with no link to your old address. So you'll put in whatever that address is, and then you'll put in the amount of secret, and then you'll click send. You know? Haven't used it. I, I'm really not in a place uh, to use this or to, to think about this. I'm really uh, focusing on figuring out all this stuff and making content and doing some more research. However, I look forward to working with it in the not too distant future when I have time and I can already understand how simple the process is. Start a new wallet, create, go to Kepler, go wherever, Ledger, create a new wallet, Put the address that you want to see. Boom. There you go. Put the, some S secret. Fill out the field. It'll send it. They'll turn it to secret. They'll hold it. And then eventually they will release secret and it will be private. Start it over. There you go. 
Start from scratch. Got it? Get it? Hit this little arrow back. Good. That's cloak. What about dead drop? Hmm. This is so cool. I love their web. And I heard Lumi. There's another gentleman, Zip. The people behind this, they're beautiful people. I mean, they're really, their heart is into this. They understand what's going on in blockchain. They have the skills to build and create, and they're just doing it for the love to add value to the network. So remember at the uh, timestamps are below, but definitely going to show you how you can support them and, and give them love back indirectly. You're loving yourself. You have to love your neighbors, love yourself. You're going to love yourself at the same time as supporting them. That's how easy going they are. Use an alias to receive tokens. So now you're like, oh yeah, send, uh, send me some secret. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll send you some secret. Have an alias. Use an alias. That way, when you're sending and receiving, it's not doxing your address without having to reveal your address. Generate one randomly or customize your own. Okay, there you go. That's for receiving. This is for sending, receiving, sending. There you go. Figure it out. If sending, fill out this form, receiving, there's your alias, create one, register it, then you have it. That's pretty neat. All right. Well, and if you're sending it, you put your alias. No. Yes. I'll have to try that and figure it out. If you do, use an alias to receive tokens without having to reveal your address. Ah, ha, ha. Okay, yes. So it is to receive. You create it. Hmm. There you go. And let's see what else. That's the black box. That's the cloak. That's the question, question, question. The other alfalfa that I was going to share. What was that? Ah, yes. I have no idea who... This is, you know, or when, this is just understanding that there are enterprise, real inter, um, enterprises out there that are aware of the value of these creations and other projects being worked on by this team. And don't be surprised to see some major partnership announced in the not too distant future for being able to use the applications built by these gentlemen. When, who, I, I have no idea. I'm not holding out. I, I really don't know. But that there's something seriously that's um, worked on, being worked on, already worked on. See, that's how little I know. But it's in that range. You can listen to the AMA yourself and you'll probably get around the same amount of information. You can also check out more about their team high up time. What are they talking about? They're talking about their node. And that's what we're going to go to right now. We talk about staking. We do examples. We did one recently on Alter. We just kind of went, you know, we just went, we went in pretty, pretty well because of the message, the chat, all those features we've talked about. Now this, you know, you can always, the whales that are uh, moving out of those stagnant EVM waters and coming into this new innovative chain and learning how to get involved, see your NFTs and, and 20% plus rewards. Hey, you're welcome to scroll down to the description and help keep the gray paint on this walls and the desk lamp going. Uh, but for this case, we're going to, we're going to stay, let's do 12. And what, where are we going to go to? We're going to look for Trivium. There they are. Trivium Network. And look, they're only asking for 3% commission. Look at this. Be joking. 3% commission, 10%. Come on. That's 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 solid. Would totally would totally do more, but um, the whales haven't sent sent it in yet. So let's just do twelve this time. But if the whales, if someone's like, you know what, I'm a whale and I want to support. This is such an amazing development. What's going on? Because whether you're a whale or a dolphin or a tuna, tuna are actually really big. If you don't know that, they're huge. So I should probably come with some other small. Jellyfish, what are the different the crab? What are whatever you are in the in the that little scale of what they call them, the whales and the size of wallet holdings, you know, no matter what. Oh, it's not max. I can't talk and stay at the same time. If you're like, hey, I want I want 
to throw some, I want you to throw some more love at Trivium by all means. I'm happy to. You say, I'm throwing you 500 secret and I want you to put all of it on Trivium, on Trivium to help support your channel. Done. All 500. Done. I'll make a video saying your wish is considered a command in this regard and accepted. That, that one would be accepted. I reserve the right to refuse wishes and as uh, non-commands, but that one I would be like, yep, yeah, I, I agree. I also agree that it's a great idea to support projects that are adding value to the community. There we go. And it shows. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Lumi, Zip. Thank you, the team at Trivium. What man, this is just really exciting times. If you're new to crypto, new to blockchain, you're not late, you're early. This is really a, a beautiful time. And so many projects are just now being developed and emerging that have practical application use case, and it's still young. So take your time, do your own research, and until the next time, have a beautiful day. Namaste, y'all.